Hello everyone, today we're going to do the Hardcore Iron Man Challenge. We're going to be going to every moon once and in order while every moon is eclipsed. And this is going to be an update 50 as well. So we'll have all the new moons, Adamant, Embryon, Artifice. I haven't done a solo Iron Man in a couple months. I went through my videos and the last one I did was back in January 12th of this year. Since then I've just been doing a lot of collab stuff with friends because I think the game's a lot more fun to play with friends I think. But now that update 50 is out I'm kind of down to play solo again and just needed a time to actually play solo because for the past week or two while update v50 has been out I've been collabing a lot with Larry, Nico, Crew Inc. And I still have more fun playing with friends and stuff but in order to keep the daily uploads going I'm playing solo today at around 2 a.m. <laughs> back, back to the 2 a.m. recordings. Well, let's get let's get right into it. I think for this, I'm just gonna get a pro flashlight and nothing else, and we're just gonna go try to get it on experimentation. It's more optimal to go get it at the at the company building, but I think we'll be okay. <clears throat> yeah. So differences in this eclipse run versus my last one or my hardcore only run, hardcore Iron Man run rather is that there's no more crouch running. That's a huge difference now, so uh, dogs are actually a threat. I can't just crouch run past them now, but I mean, it's nothing that I haven't done before. I haven't done a lot of it. I think the only time I've ever played without crouch running during an eclipse run was during my assurance only eclipse run, just to prove a point that crouch running isn't necessarily uh, needed to navigate the outdoor with uh, dogs outside. It was just more of like a quality of life type thing in the meantime. Um, game is very playable without crouch running for sure. And definitely takes a bit more uh, awareness than anything. But yeah. The reason why I'm not going with the shovel is because I'm going to need a lot more loot than the regular Iron Man. I think I need on average about 400 per moon or so. And that extra inventory slot's going to come in handy, especially now that the Shovel weighs 16 pounds versus 21. I think I'm just going to take my chances with getting good loot spawns. And uh, making use of that third inventory slot. And not a lot of danger from the enemies. Rather than trying to extend my survivability on less than favorable spawns. Now I heard a spike trap. I'm going to have to be wary of those. Make sure I don't die to one. Untimely death or anything. I saw that... The spike trap spawns were changed a little bit. Okay, well, that's literally right behind this door, then. Okay, we won't go there quite yet. Don't have to. Then we got the hoarding bug behind. Make hurt sure we pick up all the loot before the hoarding bug does. It's like the one exception to where I carry your loot with me wherever I go. Um. We'll use this. There's a gift box. I might just have. Oh, well, okay, didn't have to. Okay, we'll go take this out right now. It is. This is one of the downsides to not running the shovel. I now have to play around this loot bug. It's okay. Hey. Um, some people will be happy that I'm playing around it like this. Because now I'm not <laughs> just uh, mercilessly killing the hoarding bug, just because I can. We're gonna go a little bit deeper on this. Oh well. Yeah, we're gonna go a bit deeper. I think we uh, can still get some loot here. So I wanna aggro him if possible. Possibly beat him to loot as well. Let's see. Okay. Okay, well that's all the enemies. Bracken and a hoarding bug. Didn't even notice bro there. Um, I think I'm just gonna go... Fire exit. Now, Bracken's not the most fun to see, being honest. Um gonna make survival here just a little bit more difficult. I have to pay quite a bit of attention of what I'm doing. <clears throat> also, my path back to the ship isn't as straightforward now. I'm gonna have to play around um, dogs being able to hear me. 
Because before I could just crouch run over to the platform and be safe from the worm. And the crouch running will keep me safe from the dogs. Now I think the play still go towards the platform. But I won't be just naturally safe from dogs. So I'll have to play around that somehow. Okay. Let's not get our neck snapped here. Okay, that's the loot room? Is that the same one? This isn't just the main entrance. Okay, this is where the bracken was before. Just gotta be a little careful. Okay. Hmm. Not the biggest fan of this generation here. Just need the bracken to show up now. He should be showing up in front of me, yeah. Okay. Mm. Let's go this way. I bought the pro flashlight just so I can be a little bit lazy with my flashlight. Kind of paying off. In case I need to go like deep into a generation. In order to secure some loot. Okay, well. I don't know if I can steal that from you, unfortunately. Not without assistance. Okay, I need this bracken to show up again. Wait for him, I guess. Okay, I think I made him back off. I got that same cue. Really? I don't want this to be the end of this run already, but it might have to be. Just because that spike trap in the front is pretty, pretty dangerous. But this wouldn't be a fantastic start. I might reset. That might be the play. Is there anything? Yeah, because that's where... That jump is. You know what? We're just gonna try to play the spike trap. Cause uh I haven't really tried navigating past something like that yet. Oh, where am I going, bro? Okay. <laughs> I I just went towards the noise of the spike trap, but not necessarily towards the spike trap. Oh, yikes, okay. Well that's where I have to go. I think it's timed, so I just wait for this one. Oh yeah, there's a big room here. Yeah, so I read some of the comments. Someone said, someone said, oh hey, that uh, some spike traps are timed and some are based on whether or not you run under them. And uh, I'd imagine that the ones that are timed are the ones that are already going off regardless with you near them. So that's why I I, uh, I bet on it being timed. That one. And it actually has a decent amount of time between each drop too. Now if I can get this bracken stuck somehow, that would be super sick. Might as well do this. Wow. Dude, okay. Well. Well, I wonder if I could have jumped on that. I don't know if I have enough time to make the most use of this. At least run this stuff back, I guess. Or try to.
Okay, now we just need the apparatus. That's probably all the time that I have. Reckon that did not kill me though. Okay, he's over there. Bottles are good too, though. But I only really have time to bring one more item, and if it's going to be one item, it better be the most valuable one. No! Alright, we're good. I just have to run straight for it, I think. That dog just got ate by the sandworm. Cool. 224. Could have been a better run, honestly. Just got a little unlucky. But we made it all the way back at some point. Not an awful start. Yeah, and then plus 50 for the bottles, plus another 34 for the large axle. There wasn't even that much more on the map to begin with. Go to assurance next. Let's see if I can if I still got this jump unlocked. Okay, well I missed it, so. I'm gonna have to deal with that. Go fire exit just because it's safest. I don't really want to play main entrance, but I will if I have to. This jump's a lot more fun in Update 50, you run so fast. Gotta make sure you time it differently too. Don't want to time it like the old update. Make sure there's no turrets. Um, don't like seeing this jump right here, honestly. Yeah, I almost died just now. Let's recenter ourselves, because I was kind of stuck. Oh, main entrance is right here. Don't entirely love to see that. Not gonna hold you. There's a turret right there. At least we get loot rooms. Not that much. I'm gonna hold on to the stop sign, by the way. Ah, it's kinda heavy. 24. Yeah, see, I'm kinda super heavy right now. Maybe I won't. At least put that there though. Got a loot room, more pickles. Okay, hold on. I get it might be getting sorted out here. Not gonna go all the way in that because don't know what's in store for me in the fog. Oh, tea kettle also. Fantastic. And that's a new ambient sound, I'm pretty sure. Ain't heard anything like that before in my life. Another tea kettle. Is that it in here? Okay. Going hard with these sounds. At least these are all one-handed items, so that's good. Kinda don't wanna... It's gonna make me play in the Steam, isn't it? We can at least start securing some of this stuff. The 
before it becomes too late. Because what if something comes in here and makes me not be able to collect these? What's with all those holes on the bottom here? No way. Oh! You know what? The upward slope changes things now. So you can't jump that with as much weight. <laughs> Didn't even think about that. Alright, well. I guess we get to reset our experimentation now, huh? Good to know. Thank you, physics. Normally you can make that jump. Now that jump's even worse. My least favorite jump in the game is now even worse. I guess now that we're restarting, we can talk about some of the other stuff that I forgot to talk about at the beginning of my initial run. I guess this is for people that have made it 18 minutes in- oh, hey. 18- well, let's get the flashlight and then we'll worry about the beehive. For people who've made it 18 minutes into the video, um, there's been a lot of cool Lethal Company-like games that have come out recently. I'm sure you've all seen, like, the content warning stuff. I've actually played it a few times with Nico and Larry. They've both uploaded their perspective of, the, of our playthrough so far, if you want to go check that out. Um, I haven't edited mine yet, but I will at some point. And, um, just today, even, there was a... No, I got- I hit the rock, okay. Yeah, there's been like a lot of Lethal Company-like games that have come out recently. Content warning, I'll upload my perspective eventually, and then just today, uh, Sketchy's Contracts came out. I'll be playing on that either right after this, or later today with Nico and Larry. For sure. I didn't watch too much of that, but I mean, the early access just came out today. I kind of watched the trailer from my phone before hopping on here. Looks interesting. And which it, that's that's exciting because then I guess I'll have to tell about you guys about this inside the facility. It might not happen here. Let's get this before the dog gets aggroed. I'm pretty sure the dog can hear that, right? Map wide. I don't know. <laughs> you guys tell me. But yeah, I'll be up. Uh, I'll be recording and uploading those eventually. Um, the reason why I haven't gotten on or gotten to uploading those, despite being a full-time content creator, is because I'm no longer a full-time content creator. Well, okay. The upload, um, what's, what's it called? My upload volume hasn't changed. Like I'm still gonna upload daily Lethal Company stuff like I always have. But um, I recently picked, oh, get the apparatus on right away. Recently picked up a full-time job that uh, is stopping me from uploading more than once a day, which is what I'd want to do with the variety content. Um, reason I did it is because the money's good. And it doesn't inter quite interfere with my daily upload schedule. It just um, means that it's harder to post more than once a day. Which, give or take, or it could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. It's just the thing that I'm doing right now. Money was good, job was easy, figure. Um, might as well take it. Oh wait, I already checked here. Um, also have no issue working a job while also like doing the YouTube thing. This kind of takes a lot of the financial uh, burden off of the 
off of the videos and stuff. So I don't have to worry about if I'm making enough money per video, I can just kind of enjoy the process as well. Not that I wasn't making enough from the videos, it's just that I will like uh, to live off of, it's just I can live a lot more comfortably this way. And currently making the most money I've ever made in my whole life, so that's kind of a kind of a big thing for me. And it's not like anything I, I mean, my whole channel, I built my whole channel from the premise of <laughs> working insane hours while still doing this, so if anything I wanted I wanted to be kind of like a testament to that. Oh. That my capacity to create isn't necessarily hindered by uh, my need to work. If that makes sense. I'm trying to come up with words that make sense while I'm uh, getting chased by a spider here. I do like to see the spider though. I prefer the spider over Bracken. I just don't really have a way to deal with it right now. I also see a vent popped over there, so that's probably my other enemy. Because it definitely wasn't the spider here. Hopefully it's a snare flea. Also, sometimes I don't really like yapping about stuff that isn't about the game. Because then I'll just wander around, lost, and not remember where I was supposed to go. So I've definitely wasted a lot of time here just yapping. <laughs> Unfortunately. It is what it is. But yeah, reason, another reason why I was cool with picking up the job- well, one, the job I was pick, I picked up, it's not like I went out looking for a full-time job or anything. I was actually just asked to help out for a couple hours with a new operation that's going on. And I thought I was committing to a part-time gig, like 10 to 12 hours a week. Just kind of, you know, help, help some family out and, uh, I guess get some extra pocket money, some fun money. Wow, that's crazy. Got stuck in the spider web immediately. And then um, what ended up happening was the a, a crazy position opened up for me to just take it full time. And I was like, you know what? Got got my YouTube stuff unlocked. Let's, let's just do it. Oh, there's a loot room over here. That's good. And it, it just kind of worked out with like how I was scheduling myself for YouTube and I thought that was nice. And it's, I actually wasn't doing a crazy amount with the, <laughs> with the time slot that it's taking up. Um, I figured... Why not? Um, okay, I'm gonna- I'm actually gonna restart this one too. <laughs> I'm not looting fast enough. I mean, hopefully we get farther than experimentation on this, but... At least past the first quota. It's been a while since I've done solo. Maybe the shovel is that important, huh? But I mean, like, if I need a shovel to survive, that just slows me down so much. But... Is it slowing me down? Okay, well, what, there's a dog stuck in the pumpkin. That's a great start. I wonder how much slower I am with a shovel now. Hmm. I've also been thinking about like further in the run, like a uh, adamant embryon or whatever, and the value of getting a stun grenade or something instead of a shovel. Oh, there's an old bird on here. That's crazy. <laughs> Didn't even know they can spawn on experimentation. Hello, good sir. Um. I don't know what the outdoor power level is on the old birds. It's either a 2 or a 3. What's crazy is that that's I can still get more stuff on experimentation because I think the outdoor power level here is 8. I used to have all those numbers memorized, but it's not as crucial to memorize those um, when I'm not doing like crazy challenge runs or anything. I had those memorized back then because it was useful for my map exclusive runs. Knowing those numbers hasn't been as useful lately, or as necessary. Hmm. They are fun to know though. Good fun, good old fun facts. I'm also just realizing that with the old bird, that being up here isn't as safe anymore. Because with 
just the standard outdoor spawns on experimentation. Um, the worms and the dogs won't ever get you. Up there and yeah, okay, this looked like an apparatus tile. We get. Oh, we get a clip every time. I think we just take it because no harm in maxing out experimentations. Uh, indoor power level. Might, might as well figure out what we're dealing with earlier rather than later. And you know what? We'll just take it all the way to the stairs. Old bird is on now, too. Uh, I'm not sure what. What are you shooting at, bro? Do you see me up here? Wait, the sandworm's here? Can the sandworm come over here now? Okay, well, I was just saying how it's safe to be up here, and I guess we're changing that. I wouldn't mind sandworms coming up here, honestly. Doesn't make sense that they can't. Uh, I don't think the pipe is safe anymore either, not with the old bird out here. This is very not safe. What the... okay. Is that a bracken? Oh, it is! Wait, are you stuck back there? <laughs> You're stuck back there, I'm, I'm cool with that. What is this cursed spawn? <laughs> Bros in jail. Okay, but why are there so many locked doors? Bro, what, what is this? <laughs> what is this spawn? Okay, well I guess I can go this way. We'll check up here too, just in case. Good thing I checked. There's actually something up here, it's insane. Oh, I heard a hoarding bug too, so I'm not gonna drop anything. Just in case. I'm sliding around everywhere. Oh, I dropped that because I have to move. Oh. I guess I didn't go to this bottom room? Or what's going on? <laughs> Bro is literally stuck. Bro inverse teleported in. How did I not see this? Oh, I did see this door though. I just decided to check over here first. And with good reason, because there's nothing here. Alright, let's go see if I can secure what's outside. Before I get too far ahead of myself. Because I might not be able to. <laughs> what are we thinking? Over to the right? It's definitely not down the middle now that I'm thinking about it. Bro is flying over here. Oh, but he can't see me though. Wait, there's more than one. Might be the most cursed exper experimentation that I've ever played. Two old birds, a dog stuck in a pumpkin.
Don't see me. Do not perceive me, please. I take my chances with the dog. But then there's an old bird up there too, so I'm a little screwed. Bro. No! Stop! You didn't see me! Okay. Don't hit me off the ladder, please. Tattered metal sheets? Not even worth it. Go ahead in the Metroidvania. <laughs> Why are you flying over here? What's wrong with you? Okay, they're both flying over that way. There's an opening. Wait, are there... Is it still only two of them? Oh god. I've never been this far out on experimentation before. I just gotta do what we gotta do. Good to know they spawn on here, I guess, huh? Anyone else find old birds on their experimentation run? Or just me? Oh my. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna die. Okay, well I can't just leave that out there. That's the difference. Jesus Christ. Okay. I have to run out to the right and then come back around on the left. And hope that it's good. Alright, you see me. You seen it. Only 208. But I have one more engine and two more tattered metal sheets. Do I go for it? No time like the present. No. Oh, dang. He sniped me. <laughs> He's not even to be. I think we'll give it one more go. <laughs> this is gonna be an experimentation only run, huh? Hardcore Iron Man's a lot harder than it used to be. But you know, that's not really a discouraging thing, that's actually kind of exciting. The Iron Man challenge wasn't intended to be easy, and especially the hardcore one. I've seen a lot of people, like, sharing their grievances over the new update, and how some of it's just unfair or whatever, but... I mean, that's kind of like the whole premise of the game, though. It's, uh... Now that the working for the company is actually lethal, like now we have problems. <laughs> like that's isn't it? Isn't it good that there's new things to learn? I don't think old birds are impossible to play around. I don't think spike traps are impossible to play around. I don't think the baboon hawks on adamants are impossible to play around. It's just more difficult than what we've seen so far. I also don't think the butlers are difficult to play around, or impossible to play around either. Especially, I think the hornets got nerfed or something. That or, uh, just breaking line of sight of them has always just been that effective. I might have to ditch the flashlight. Okay. 
kind of waiting for it to aggro on the um, thing there because it seems like the dog aggro takes priority over players versus um, the ambience or dropship. But if it's already committed to an attack, it'll continue that attack. So I waited for it to commit before I started running. Also no er old birds on this spawn from what I could tell. But we're already looking pretty good. But we're getting a maze off rip, which I'm not a big fan of. I'd like to see a loot room soon here. The one that's not so deep in, preferably. Or if it's deep in, if I can find the fire exit also. Now we're chaining loot rooms. Um, kind of hoping for a fire exit play here now. Might not get it. I'll leave that big bolt there, because that's going to be the way back to the main entrance. Same with that pl plastic fish. What did I just hear? What am I hearing? Who knows? I have enough keys to just send these. I'm not gonna send it into a dead end though. Okay, well that's at least one full inventory. Hmm. It's funny because in the original Iron Man, you can kind of just get away with, um, oh, okay, got the fire exit. Let's actually start, let's bring that whole inventory back here. Or try to, what though? Okay, well, I've been wanting to practice this. Actually, I can get it stuck, let's, where are you, bro? Thumper. Are you still stuck? As of update 50. That still works. Cool. And now that's three whole power levels I don't have to worry about for the rest of the match. And there's the fourth one in a slime. We might not have crouch running, but we still have this, baby. Thank you very much. Okay. Now I can basically just explore exp the rest of experimentation for free. As long as I don't die to a slime at the entrance. Alright, one of the exits. Oh, I almost walked off. That would have sucked. Um, we can consider playing pipe. Pipe, playing pipe isn't that bad now, or it, like it, it's safer. This is probably where Bro spawned in. It's got a homemade flashbang. We'll take it. Might as well drop it outside as well. Not gonna need it. should be here any second now. I want to at least try to get the apparatus. I might just play main entrance, honestly. Because there was a lot of different directions I didn't go, and it's probably a lot faster than backtracking. Actually, no, there was that whole... There was that whole maze that I didn't get to check out yet. On the other side. But hopefully the slime isn't just right up around this corner. I don't think it's fast enough to be. Yeah, it's still right there. Yeah, because I didn't go down this way yet. At least I don't think I did. Not entirely sure at this point. Okay. Such complexity. Found the apparatus. Man, this thumper was going everywhere, huh? Let's see if I can find something to bring back with it. 
No extra goodies. Not today. I don't think there was a clip. I might have to run this. Okay. No worrying about spawning extra stuff in. I already know what everything... Everything that spawned in already. Jump over that real quick. You can play Fire Exit here too. <laughs> Least intimidating thumper in the game. I wonder if its head is sticking out far enough to where it can bite me though. It's a little... Can't have that. What time is it? 5.40. Okay, well. Let's, um... I don't think- I think... Pipe might just be too slow. You know what? We're here. We'll do it for the first one, and then we'll have the flashbang for the second trip. How about that? I think that's a good compromise. Since we're already up here, we might as well. Can't, uh, spend too much time thinking about it. If you spend too much time in analysis paralysis, you'll just be wasting even more time than you would have if you just did the slightly less efficient method. I also got to see how these jumps change with the new weight and all that. There's a dog right there too, so I'm going to keep walking towards the hill and just jump on the back of the ship. Two dogs and a sandworm. 8.42, I don't really have time now. Also, why is this door halfway? I also just risked walking into a slime right now. It might not have looked all that risky, but it was for sure risky. Hmm. I don't really want to just... I might just have to be okay with whatever the hell I just got. Let's go see what assurance looks like, I guess. I might have time to go all the way back up to the pipe, honestly. Not if I mess this up, are you serious? Okay. Yeah, whatever. Oh, it's gonna be close. We're okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's just... We'll go see what assurance looks like, maybe make it to Val, make it, maybe make it past the first quota. dogs at. Hopefully not on the ship. Alright, 
just barely before midnight. But <laughs> I'm glad I didn't uh, take longer than I did. But kind of a not a great start. Let's see, 172 of 253. I think um, in this version of the Iron Man, resets might be more common. Before that though, let's uh, see if I can get this jump this time. Nice. Okay, we at least have one dub on the board. I'm gonna get turreted immediately. Bottles instead is good. Um, oh, and an immediate loot room too. Double locker loot room. Love to see it. Okay. Wow, double stop sign too, and a brass bell. Hmm. Not bad, not bad. Very good, actually, one would argue. Might not have to go very far. Might want to um, secure this loot sooner rather than later, too. Wow. Wow. More? Give me more. I'm gonna greed. I'm going greedy. Gotta make up for experimentation being some cheeks. Okay. And make sure we don't die here because we don't have a shovel or anything. There's another loot room here. That's fantastic. Might be empty. Okay. Not empty. Nice. I don't think that was everything on this side. There was one more two-handed item, right? Yeah. I might just start securing this. I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. There isn't deeper on this side. Okay, let's get this then. The dog. Three pounds is crazy. I don't want to drop it because of baboon hawks. I have time to just go up and down every time. We'll just do this. We'll do it regularly. My bad, I was trying to show off a little. Ended up wasting some time. I'm not even entirely sure if that jump works right now, still, with the new physics. I'm sure someone will let me know. I don't see any baboon hawks though. I might, might mess, mess around and drop some stuff. 
And I will see. I don't mind taking the extra time. I might mind having to go to the main entrance though. I might not just for the sake of seeing a different map. <laughs> Just a little bit of stamina, just for that specific situation there. That does mean this last run is going to be a little bit harder than that one. Let's see, there's a dog right there. Hey dog, hey dog. Over here, over here, over here. Over here dog. Over here, over here, over here. Hey. Hey, over here, over here, over here, over here. As long as I'm running ahead of the worm, I'm okay. I just couldn't run into it. Yeah, we're good. Hey, you know what? Let's go see Val. Let's go see what Val looks like. I'm making that executive decision to just go see Val. I don't like my odds of living at the main entrance. Even though I probably should just be playing it in a run like this where I, it's probably just good to try to maximize each moon, try to live until midnight, but I actually don't have that much time because, <laughs> what's it called? I actually got to go to work in a few hours. It's kind of making it happen with what I got. 414. We are a little bit behind pace, but it's okay. Val's going to sort us out like it usually does. Let's go. I'm going to try to B-scan. I don't think B-scan works in update 50, but we'll see. Oh, we got two beehives, actually. I think we'll only go for them if we see them, though. And by see them, I mean see them right away. A little risky running around looking for beehives in this environment. To me, or Val Eclipse darker? Oh, okay. Valley is super safe because of that rock. Good. But also not the greatest, because I'd want to lure Forest Keepers down there, but Forest Keepers also got nerfed this patch. Seems like their vision isn't very good now. Okay, time to get my neck snapped by a Bracken. Got a loot room immediately, which is nice. And an Easter egg. We have some anti-giant tech. Okay. Good, good, good. Just... Hopefully I remember that that's in the corner. Nice. We're for sure gonna get another Brack in here. Very rare to play Val without a Brack in. It's happened before, but not really a common occurrence. I thought that I saw a key on the floor. Hmm. 
Damn, dude, the possibility of a bracket just makes you play such a crazy swivel. Okay, here he comes. That's for sure him. Another whoop cushion. The joke. You know, someone in the comments got mad at me for calling that room a bracken room. But I've never ever called that a bracken room. I actually <laughs> that it I've always thought it was just the back rooms type thing. And uh cause it, it reminds me of the back rooms mostly because of the color scheme. And I remember like an early Lethal Company, people believed that, um, oh, that that room was the Bracken room. But I, w I was always, I would always tell people that that's not a Bracken room per se. Like that was kind of just a myth from early Lethal Company days. Um, people thought that. Uh, oh wait, no, the hoarding bug's gonna take all my stuff. Hold on, I gotta go back. Like, it's a myth from early Lethal Company days, because uh, the Bracken does have a favorite area. Um, and I think early on, uh, someone saw saw that it used that room as it's- Okay, well, let's not go there. Damn it, where am I supposed- to Okay, I'm lost already. See what happens when I start yapping? This is why I don't yap. Or try not to yap. But yeah, main point is the Bracken has a favorite area that it, it'll take its victims to, but it, it's not that room. It just happened to be that one room in early Lethal Company, and people bought into it. Hopefully this isn't the way back, because I just heard a spider. I'm pretty sure this is it, though. make this happen. an easter egg just in case. I might bring the flashbang with me on the next run. If this is the map where- I, if this is the run where I got the flashbang because I don't entirely remember. Because I at least- I can at least rely on the flashbang more. I've never actually used- oh uh, actually I saw Larry kill- okay well there's a baboon hawk. My favorite. That means that there's that only one giant at most though. That's not horrible. There's two baboon hawks actually. One behind me to the left and another in front of me to the right. And a giant. And a sandworm. Okay, so I misheard. It was the same baboon hawk then. Do I even go back, dude? Yeah. I'm doing it. Taking this with me though. My insurance. What am I going back for? Two whoopee cushions? <laughs> I'm going back for the overtime bonus that this loot will get me. Well, unlucky man. Sandworm? I would have preferred two giants, I think. Because this outdoor monster variety is not good for me. At least we're potentially bringing home four more, four pieces of loot. Or three actually, because I took this one out with, with me. Let's just hope I don't run into the sandworm. I don't, it's fine to run away from a sandworm, it's not good to run into one. And we're just going to take the path. The straight path. 
which usually isn't the path of least resistance. But I'm gonna rely on it here. Okay, well, actually I'm gonna get this guy Eden. Watch this. I just done to everybody. I think I, I stunned the baboon hawk too. <laughs> but yeah, we're living. I remember that the homemade flashbang doesn't work like a stun grenade. I can't delay, I can't let him grab me. I have to pull it before he grabs. Would have been sick if the sandworm was there though. But I probably would have died with it. Alright. I definitely didn't get 1200 loot here. <laughs> That's fine. It, it's kind of hard to get 400 on experimentation in Val. I probably could have those on Val. There were two beehives. Don't know how much they were worth. But at least worth 50-ish each. That would have been an extra 100. Would have brought me like... Over the 300 mark. You know, not gonna stress about it too much. We at least meet one quota this time. And you know what? There's a strategy that I'm considering. I want to I want to see if it's like viable to buy a jetpack um, on a solo Iron Man run. Just because you might be able to get so much more value if you do. It's not math I've worked out yet, but it's math that I'm interested in doing. I you can die while selling this. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> That's so messed up. Kind of funny though. That would have been a crazy way to end the run, by the way. Just for that, I might only like if if an Easter egg explodes on me, I might only sell like one Easter egg per round or one exploded Easter egg per round because I can't have to. I can't afford to have that exploding on me. Just move all this, like keeping the one-handed items and two item, two-handed items sep in separate piles, at the very least. Oops! Accidentally opened that. I don't know if anyone saw me walk around the whoopee cushions, just in case. Don't need to die for no reason. Cool. Let's see how much money that was. A little over 700. And then now we're gonna go to offense, march, and adamant. Okay, hear me out. We're gonna get a pro flashlight. We're gonna get a shovel. And we're just gonna get- we're just gonna send jetpack. Cause what if I'm able to secure a lot more loot because I have the jetpack? Now how much- how much loot do I need to get per quota? Or per moon? If I can get 1850 here... I'm basically gonna have to full clear each moon now. That's kind of the commitment that I've made. Yeah. I also gotta pray that I don't get the jetpack fuel glitch. Like the one that I have right now, you see how it's just going down? I just kinda gotta let it run, I think. And then it'll reset when I recharge the battery. And then we'll get we'll get some overtime bonus here. Did I just grief my run? Probably. I actually got closer to twelve hundred than I thought because of the overtime bonus. Yeah, eight eighteen plus a hundred something. Hundred twenty two. So I really got like 940 on that quota. It's not bad. All right. Now that it's all the way dead, we should be okay now. Now let's go to offense. Actually making it past the first quota this time. Let's go. 
I can now that I have the jetpack, I can play main entrance on offense. Playing main entrance would be a lot harder without it. We'll see if I get the fuel glitch though, because if I get the fuel glitch, I'm just gonna play fire exit. Okay, looks like we're good. Just something to look out for. Immediate clown horn, love to see it. Prioritize one-handed items here. And I am bringing the shovel on off just because offense has all the thumpers and all that. Um, yeah, might be worth having now. Um, not the friendliest map generation though. Hopefully it doesn't end it. Oh. Okay. Fair enough. Hold on. Hopefully lost them now. But I might have to go down that way, which kind of sucks. Yeah, I lost them, but at what cost? Oh my god, okay. Hey. Do you not see me? Do you not see me here? What? Okay, come on. Is it me or is the coil head like thicker now? Oh my. I don't like this. I might go play fire exit low key. I remember how to get back to the fire. Oh, whatever. I'm dead. <laughs> if the coil head could stay in that room for a while, though, I might be okay. You can just roam around with nowhere to go. Oh my god, okay. Thing is, if I find the fire exit now, I won't have my jetpack with me. Okay, well we can at least take this. We can take that too, I guess. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, well. <laughs> okay. I think. I think that's good enough for this first attempt. <laughs> I actually want to go try and play Sketchy's contract. So, I'm going to go check that out. I'll most likely have that video up today as well. But yeah, we'll give the we'll give the hardcore Iron Man more goes in the future. I, I kind of want to stream these attempts, especially the solo ones. I don't know. I'm still figuring it out. The the new job thing is kind of new and I'm trying to figure out my schedule around that, but we'll at least ha keep the daily Lethal Company uploads going. We'll keep the Iron Man's going. But yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.